Hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful, beautiful black people. I hope that all is well in your world. And this day is a very good day for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful black loved ones. <clears throat> My beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters, when you ask yourself how did white folks get so rich? How did white folks end up in 2020, May of 2020, owning everything, having 99% of the money? How did they do that? Well, here's one entity. Here's one thing that helped white folks along the way. It's called the FHA, the Federal Housing Administration. If you don't know, the FHA is the largest insurer of mortgages in the world, insuring over 35 million properties since its inception in 1934. But from the outset, the Federal Housing Administration, the FHA, set itself up as the protector of the all white neighborhoods while systematically excluding excluding black families from achieving home ownership. Under the guiding hand of the FHA, private American banks teamed up with the government agencies, sat in front of city maps, and literally drew big red lines around black neighborhoods, separating those communities from the white areas, and refused mortgages, home insurance, financing, loans to everyone who lived in the delineated areas, a practice called redlining, redlining, redlining. That's what it was called. Of the 350,000 new homes built with FHA loans in Northern California between 1946 and 1960, only 100 went to blacks. The same pattern held true throughout America, throughout this plantation called America. Most white families today acquired, acquired a goodly portion of their net worth from the appreciation of property that their fathers secured under the special privileges they receive in a racial, racially discriminatory housing market. As a result, 72% of whites own their own homes as opposed to 41% of blacks. Further, the tax, tax advantages for inheriting property and the deductions available to homeowners make owning a home less expensive than renting. In 1962, President John F. Kennedy banned racial discrimination in federally, federally owned or funded housing 
but under his executive order, less than 1% of all housing was covered. The 1964 Civil Rights Act banned discrimination, but less than 20% of new housing was covered by the legislation. It is specifically exempted. It specifically exempted federal mortgage, federal mortgage insurance programs from anti-discrimination laws. The Fair Housing Act of 1968 passed less than a week after the murder of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. covered only, only 80% of housing but provided little enforcement power and offered virtually no protection against the private discriminatory practices of white homeowners, real white realtors, white banks, and zoning boards. The, this pattern, my beautiful intelligent black brothers and sisters, is still clearly represented in today's statistics. Whites are offered more choices in housing. Up to 90% of housing, housing units shown to whites are not offered as options to blacks. Whites are half as likely as blacks to be turned down for a mortgage or home improvement loan, and whites pay a substantially lower interest rate on their mortgages. Foreclosures happen 20% faster for blacks and the medium home equity value for older white homeowners is $134,000, nearly twice that for blacks, $72,000. Redlining keeps blacks from the wealth building benefits of home ownership and make them easy prey for the predatory bottom feeders of America's economy, the check catching businesses and pawn shops, the payday lenders, the government lotteries and military recruiters, the lossiness credit card scams, the rent to own stores that prey on the working poor. And of course, the subprime mortgage brokers. All these legal racketeers, crooks, provide a potent revenue stream for white enrichment while draining what is left of black wealth. Steve Mnuchin, a big time predatory lender in California made in excess of $300 million doing that. He's now Secretary of Treasury of the Treasury in the Trump administration. These legal racketeers, these criminals, Trump administration is inundated with them. The Republican Party are enablers of all of that criminality, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. What the Muslims want, point number eight, we want the government of the United States to exempt our people from all taxation as long as we have deprived of equal justice under the laws of the land. That is what the nation of Islam wants. That is something that should be applied to all black folks, people that look like me, 
right here on this plantation called America. How did white folks get so rich? They had affirmative actions. Their whiteness afforded them many, many advantages. And that wealth has been passed down through many generations of white folks. That's what I have on this one. Please go to the thrashaway.libsyn.com to gain access to all that I do.